One participant asked, I'm developing new ways of handling interpersonal relationships because I'm tired of my old unproductive ways. But in developing these new ways to interact with the world, I'm bound to make mistakes and maybe harm people's benefits or leave a stain on their impressions of me. How can I mitigate this risk of damaging people's perceptions of me and hence relationships with people while being able to push myself as much as possible out of old comfort zones and into new ways? First of all, I want to celebrate that the person who asked this question is really motivated and focused on changing how they're interacting, transforming how they're interacting, relating with themselves and other people. So I just want to celebrate that because uh, I know that takes work and courage and awareness. So uh, I appreciate that effort. Now, what I suggest to people, and I suggest this at home as well as at work, when you are new to learning nonviolent communication or collaborative communication and, and integrating this, I would let people know. So there's some shared understanding about what's going on. What that can sound like in a workplace setting is, I just want you to know I've been learning some new communication skills. I'm really excited about them. I really think they're gonna make a difference. If you feel uncomfortable with this, by the way, saying communication, I've been studying up on some new collaboration techniques. How we wanna call it, collaboration, communication, uh, connection, whatever word fits for you, they all apply to nonviolent communication. And I'm really excited about them. And I'm also aware that it may sound a little bit different from how you're used to hearing me speak and communicate. And if something comes out sounding a little awkward, or if you're a little confused or uncomfortable, uh, I hope you'll have some understanding that I'm learning something new. And I also want you to know I'm really open to hearing that. And I would actually find the feedback helpful because I'm pretty motivated about learning and applying these skills. And your feedback would support me in integrating and learning. My guess is that's going to help you relax a lot more and will create shared reality and really give space for the other person to let you know what their experience is, which probably will be helpful. And if it's not, then you have a chance to further practice by listening empathically to the other person. So it's a win-win. Uh, 